Without love and laughter, there is no joy. Live amid love and laughter. Who has self-confidence will lead the rest. Manage your mood, because if it does not obey, then it commands. Make money, money by fair means if you can. If not, make them by any means. You cross the whole world in search of happiness, and it is always there, at arm's length, from any person. He will always be a slave who does not know how to live upon a little. A hypocrite can be spotted by three signs. When he tells, he lies. When he promises, he violates. When he is trusted, he betrays. In love there are two evils war and peace. Do not shy away from business, but do not fuss too much. Life grants nothing to us mortals without hard work. Mix a little foolishness with your serious plans. It is lovely to be silly at the right moment. If you wish people to weep, you must weep first. If there is nothing pleasant without love and fun, live in love and fun. What we read with pleasure, we read again with pleasure. Think to yourself that every day is your last. The hour to which you do not look forward will come as a welcome surprise. Count your birthdays with gratitude. Wisdom is the principle and source of beautiful writing. Live as brave men, and if fortune is adverse, Front its blows with brave hearts. It is courage, courage, courage that raises the blood of life to crimson splendor. Live bravely and present a brave front to adversity. Either stick to tradition or see that your inventions are consistent. This is a fault common to singers that among their friends they were never inclined to sing when they were asked. Unasked, they never desist. It is reason and wisdom which take away cares, not places affording wide views over the sea. In a miserable situation, don't forget to defend the stability of the soul. Pale death with impartial tread beats at the poor man's cottage door and at the palaces of kings. Leave off asking what tomorrow will bring and whatever day's fortune will give, count them as profit. Clogged with yesterday's excess, the body drags the mind down with it. How slight and insignificant is the thing which casts down or restores a mind greedy for praise. In peace, as a wise man, he should make suitable preparation for war. People don't like when you repeat it twice. The man who mingles the useful with the sweet 
carries the day by charming his reader and at the same time instructing him. Adversity has the effect of eliciting talents which, in prosperous circumstances, would have lain dormant. Remember when life's path is steep to keep your mind even. You procure the noblest building materials when only a pick and a spade are needed, and you build a house 500 feet long and a hundred feet wide, forgetting a dwelling six feet. Fool makes a fortune of those it favors too much. Virtue, dear friend, needs no defense. The surest guard is innocent. None knew, till guilt created fear, what darts or poisoned arrows were. You may drive out nature with a pitchfork, yet she still will hurry back. It would be less madness to carry firewood into the forest. We are just statistics born to consume resources. Mingle a little folly with your wisdom. A little nonsense now and then is pleasant. Love not what you want to love, and what you can, what you have. Beauty dies from wine, youth is reduced by wine. Fear of making a mistake involves another. A person's weakness is shown in his inability to refuse. Capture your reader. Let him not depart from dull beginnings that refuse to start. People will never trust a person without a share of doubt. You can only tell the one who trusts you. What do people have the most? Hope, because even those who have nothing else have it. The aim of the poet is to inform or delight or to combine together in what he says both pleasure and applicability to life. What are you laughing at? A story is told about you with a changed name. If any man cannot feel the power of God when he looks upon the stars, then I doubt whether he is capable of any feeling at all. A force devoid of reason perishes by itself. Trying to be brief, you become incomprehensible. Humor is often stronger and more effective than sharpness in cutting knotty issues. A shoe that is too large is apt to trip one, and when too small, to pinch the feet. So it is with those whose fortune does not suit them. If you don't run while you're healthy, you'll have to run when you're sick. He who postpones the hour of living rightly is like the rustic who waits for the river to run out before he crosses. Subdue your passion, or it will subdue you. All that is hidden now will once be revealed by time. What you have not published you can destroy. The word once set forth can never be recalled. 
anger is a brief madness. Once a word has been allowed to escape, it cannot be recalled. Faults are soon copied. He who is greedy is always in want. He who feared that he would not succeed sat still. A new vessel smells for a long time of what it was filled with for the first time. Big promises reduce trust. He who has begun something is already halfway done. Dare to be wise. Begin. Wisdom is not wisdom when it is derived from books alone. Whatever advice you give, be brief. Rule your mind or it will rule you. Begin, be bold, and venture to be wise. Even as we speak, time speeds swiftly away. These quotes from Horace show what a man of dry wit he was, and we can also see that he had a great sense of humor. Even though poetry wasn't his life ambition, he gave all of us a lot of amazing quotes. Thanks for watching.